What makes you qualified to work with somebody with CP? Well, being that I am an individual with cerebral palsy, I'm born with spastic diplegia, so you compound that with my understanding and, and expertise in adaptive physical education, I think I'm pretty qualified. My name is Dr. Tom Moran, Associate Professor of Kinesiology at James Madison University. And after my presentation, I was walking through the exhibit hall and happened to come upon the Quadricizer exhibit. And as an individual with cerebral palsy, specifically spastic diplegia, um, Mr. Bohannon saw me and, and asked me to come and, and try out the Quadricizer. Uh, and at first, I honestly didn't know what to think. I like it. it you know, right now I'm struggling with uh, back spasms. My hip flexors are really tight. This is helping me uh, go through full range of motion and loosen things up. It's really helping to pump my ankles and, uh, you know, basically improve my overall flexibility. And one of the initial things that I realized about this machine, this passive active motorized therapy system, is it allowed me to be an independent mover. It allowed me to have some control over my body. So this teacher said, can we use our movement on the quadricizer and equate not only the movement with the legs, but the movement with the arms into actual miles of movement. Student A 43.8 miles of movement. Student B, 69.9 miles of movement. A lot of students would come on Monday after the weekend, and the teacher would note, or I'm sorry, the parent would note that they had zero bowel and bladder movements over the weekend. Every single one of the students after their exercise bout on Monday morning would have a bowel and or bladder movement at some point during the day on Monday. I'm Susan Ellinger. I'm the director of the Shenandoah Valley Regional Program so I assist all the special education directors in the surrounding six school divisions with wow. what we consider our regional classrooms, and those are our classrooms for our most difficult to serve, most expensive to serve, most disabled students for the most part. So we've been watching them use it and how it's really helped the students and helped their mobility and helped with just their general even um, attention to task their happiness, they're happier after they've used the cue. So we've been really impressed and we're pleased to have it here. I think it's been a real win-win for everybody. I think the students are, are happier, they enjoy being on it, um, it helps them get moving better and I think, don't you think they're happier? Much happier. This machine is their sole way of getting all four extremities moving and, and having the movement that we take for granted that we're able to do, but they're not able to do that for various reasons. They need the support and, and they need the push through. So it gives them, it gives them movement. It gives them a change of position. One of my students in my classroom, he walks and his feet go inward almost like scissor steps. And after he used um, the pediatric quadricizer, he walks straighter. So, I mean, it just makes me want to cry. Awesome. <laughs> just after what, a half hour? How long was he on? 20 minutes, half hour? That's wonderful. I'm very happy to have it. Ezra, for example, he's he's learned how to um, how to take steps, and I attribute that the consistency. He's on the quadricizer every day, first thing in the morning. Getting here, he goes on the quadricizer for an hour, and I, I really attribute his success in, in mobility to to the quadricizer. We were able to keep the exercise constant because my first question was, does this quadricizer actually 
have an impact on overall functioning. And now we know that according to this initial study, the answer is yes. But what I'm most excited about, for them and for me, is the Quadricizer provides an opportunity for each of these participants to enjoy the freedom of movement without the control of an instructor. They're moving on his or her own. And also, they're now able to enjoy physical activity and movement through this wonderful modality that has never been provided and probably cannot be replicated on their own. And so I'm excited to see not only the initial impact, but as we continue this research and as we have the opportunity to follow these students through their middle school years and potentially into high school, what is the lasting impact of the quadricizer, of continuous repetitive fluid movement on the overall functioning for these individuals with severe and significant disabilities.